Soap is used to wash many things, like dishes or clothing, and in every case, it's acting the same way. It works as something called the surfactant, which emulsifies oils and allows them to be carried by water. Historically, soap was made by using a combination of rainwater, animal fats or vegetable oils, and ashes. Over thousands of years, the process was slowly refined and it was eventually discovered that the major ingredient in the ashes was strong base. For a very long time, all soap was solid soap and it wasn't until 1865 when a man named William Shepard patented a liquid version. From then on, more and more liquid type soaps were developed and now we have a huge variety of different options. The invention of a proper liquid form of soap was actually a pretty big deal because it made it a lot easier to clean things like floors and clothing. Soap is derived from triglycerides, which are the fat storage molecules used by almost all plants and animals. Animal fats and vegetable oils are almost just pure triglycerides. There are two major parts of the triglyceride molecule, the glycerol backbone and the fatty acid tails. An ester bond connects the tails to the backbone, and it's a relatively sensitive bond. When triglycerides are treated with a strong base like sodium hydroxide, they undergo a saponification reaction. This leads to the breaking of the ester bond and the formation of glycerol and fatty acid salts. These salted fatty acids are pretty much what soap is. One end has a strong charge separation which makes it polar, while the long carbon chain tail is nonpolar. The polar end is hydrophilic, literally meaning water loving, and the chain is lipophilic, meaning fat loving. In general, nonpolar molecules dissolve in nonpolar liquids like oils, and polar molecules dissolve in polar liquids like water. Because this molecule has both of these properties, it acts as a sort of bridge between the oil and the water. When soap is shaken with water, the molecules arrange themselves into spherical structures called micelles. The hydrophilic and polar heads are on the outside in contact with the water, and the nonpolar tails are shielded on the inside. The micelles are not technically dissolved in the water, and they exist as a colloid, which is a very finely dispersed suspension. If oil is present, micelles can pick up and hold a small droplet in their nonpolar interior. The tails on the inside dissolve into the oil, and the entire droplet is protected from water. The polar heads give the surface a negative charge, which helps repel other micelles. This prevents the oil from coalescing, and it keeps it separated as very small, stabilized droplets. The oil can then be taken away with the water, and that's basically how soap works. If you're interested in seeing how soap is made, or learning how you could make it yourself, you should check out my other video on my channel Nile Red. I go into a lot more detail, and I show how to make both solid soap as well as liquid soap. The video on this channel is basically just half the intro of the video on my other channel, so if you do check it out, you're going to have to skip to around the 3 minute 7 second mark. If you do want to check it out, click the link in the description and it will automatically jump forward the 3 minutes or so.